what we're here today to, to recognise is that facilities are incredibly important. We know when we did our, our grassroots survey that 84% of 30,000 odd respondents said poor facilities. It is the number one issue that faces grassroots football out there. It's a £102 million pound fund uh, which is going to be invested in grassroots football facilities up and down the country, mainly focusing in deprived areas. It's, it's fantastic for football, it's fantastic for our kids, it's fantastic for communities. And it's being funded from the Premier League, the Football Association and the Government. Combining £12 million pounds a year from the FA with £12 million pounds a year from the Premier League, £10 million pounds a year from Sport England and combining this fund today here, this £102 million fund, makes a big difference. We see more sustainable facilities, more, yes, more um, uh, 3G facilities, but better changing rooms, better conditions really, for people to get out there and enjoy football at the grassroots week in, week out. Sport was very important to me growing up. It, you know, it made me who I am. Um, you know, it gave me my, my self-confidence, my self-esteem. It, it, it taught me very important lessons how to, you know, how to practice, prepare, communicate. Because of this, other kids up and down the country will have the same opportunities, the same chance that I had to develop and grow through sport. In order to have people coming through the system, we need more people playing football. We need better people playing football and therefore we need decent facilities for them to play on. We need decent coaching for those, for those players coming through the system. And then we need to work with the clubs and the academy system, the, the Elite Triple P um, academy system that's just been revamped by the, by, the, by the Premier League and Football League. Feed those boys in particular through that academy system and back out into our own development teams and hopefully through into our senior team performing at Wembley and then that inspirational performance that you get from the England team over that last, you know, that double header where we clinched uh, the road to, to Brazil, you know, drives interest in the game, drives, drives uh, participation and that feeds back into the pyramid at the bottom. So it all works in a big virtuous circle for me and, and it's important that we, as the FA, keep measuring our investment in, in all ends of the, uh, 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 can you have ends of a circle? All areas of that circle.